Forces are all around us, and they play a crucial role in determining how structures behave. Today we'll delve into how we can identify and understand the forces acting on a structure by considering their magnitude, direction, point of application, and plane of application. When we talk about forces acting on a structure, we're referring to pushes or pulls that can cause the structure to move or change shape. These forces can be external, like the wind pushing on a building, or internal, like the forces within a bridge holding it together. First, let's discuss magnitude. This tells us how strong a force is. Think of it like the volume control on your music player. A loud sound has high volume, while a soft one has low volume. Similarly, a strong force has a high magnitude, while a weak one has a low magnitude. Direction is crucial. It tells us where the force is headed. Imagine you're playing tug of war. If everyone on your team pulls in the same direction, you're more likely to win. Forces work the same way. They have a specific direction, like up, down, left, right, or at an angle. Now let's look at the point of application. This is where the force is applied on the structure. Think of it as where you press a button on your remote control. Different buttons do different things. Similarly, where you apply a force on a structure matters. Pushing a door near the handle is different from pushing it near the hinges. Lastly, consider the plane of application. It tells us where the force is acting in relation to the structure. Think of it like a poster on a wall. You can push it straight in or at an angle. The plane of application is the direction the force acts within the structure. Let's take a real world example, a suspension bridge. The magnitude of the forces acting on the bridge's cables is immense as they must support the weight of the bridge and everything on it. The direction of these forces is mostly vertical as they hold the bridge up. The point of application is where the cables connect to the bridge's towers and anchor points. The plane of application is along the length of the cables running from tower to tower. In conclusion, identifying the magnitude, direction, point of application, and plane of application of forces applied to a structure is crucial for understanding how the structure will behave. Whether it's a bridge, a building, or even a bicycle, forces are always at play. By studying these aspects, engineers and architects can design structures to withstand the forces they'll encounter in their environment. So next time you look at a structure, remember that forces are at work and understanding them helps us create safe and resilient designs.